All right. Call all yim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Wahweh, Kakwadash. That's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, in whom we praise. Double honors to the apostles, elders, and bishops of Great Millstone who rule well over the flock. Shalom and salutation to all you Akima out here that's pushing the words of truth and sincerity. And shalom to all the elect Akima Akwa, scattered Israelites and Israelite foreigners. Lord willing, this video is edifying. Today we're going to deal with the fame of Yahweh Shah. How Yahweh Shah got famous. Where did that fame come from? And the, the fact that we know we're going to be famous just off of the strength of what the scriptures say about Yahweh Shah. Alright. Um... But we don't want the fame that come overnight. We want the fame that, you know, you're famous in the heavens for what you're doing. And your report in the heavens is so good that, uh, you know, you famous first in the heavens uh, based upon you doing the will of the Heavenly Father here on earth. Matthews 9 and 29, we start the account of the Lord's fame. Uh, 9 and 23, I'm going to start here. It says, And when Yehoshua came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand. And the maid arose. And the fame hereof went abroad into all the, that land. So we're dealing with fame now, right? All right, fame. So let's go down to the interlinear. You can see the Greek word here. Fame may. That's where the uh, English fame comes from, the Greek fame may. And it has a root word here. I'm going to check that out real quick. Fame may root word will be here to make one's thoughts to declare or to say, to affirm. Okay? To say and affirm. Fame may comes from that. And it means fame or report. It also down here says rumor. So these things, when you have a rumor about you or you have fame. All right. When you have a report that's attached to your name, you have fame. Yahweh Shah, his report was attached to him because he rose people from the dead in this particular situation. He rose someone from the dead. Okay. He healed uh, the blind, he healed the sick. All right. He gave hearing to the deaf. So Yahweh Shah did that and garnered fame because of it. Let's go into the next because there's a few different Greek words for the word fame and all of these Yahweh Shah had. This is Matthews 9 and 29. Then he touched her. Then touched he their eyes saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened and Yahweh Shah straightly charged them saying, see that no man know it. Meaning he didn't want that fame, right? He didn't want that report to be out on him. It says, but they, when they were departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. Let's take a look at that word fame. Interlinear. I told you there's different Greek words for the word fame. This one here says diaphemizo. Diaphame. It still has the word fame in it, but it's diaphemizo. So it's a two-part word. And this one means to spread abroad one's fame. Commonly reported, it says blaze abroad. As you can see here, blaze. And when you think of a blaze, you think of fire, right? You ever heard something spreading like wildfire? Well, this is the report of Yahweh Shah after he's doing these miracles of healing. As you can see here, to report thoroughly or divulgate. The divulgate means... To make publicly or publish. So they published this report and this rumor about Yahweh Shah everywhere throughout Jerusalem and Judea. There was this report about the Messiah, this report about Yahweh Shah of Nazareth, this support about a man that could heal, a man that could walk on water, a man that could uh, see, see uh, dreams and visions, a man that can interpret things, a man that knows the scriptures, a man that condemns the wicked, stands for the just. A man that is amongst publicans and sinners. So it was divulged. It was publicly thoroughly reported on. And it went like a blaze. And that's where his fame came. You see here to commonly report. Once you become something commonly reported on. You have fame now. You have fame now. Let's 
go into it. And it says here to spread abroad his fame, verbally diffuse his renown. So renown is something that also goes into uh, your name and your rumor about your name. Renown means the condition of being known or talked about by many people. Fame. So Yahweh tried to diffuse it. I mean, he tried to stop it from happening. He tried to stop the blaze from happening. But once his name went out there, and once his, uh, uh, once they saw and heard what they did, what he did, they passed it on and passed it on, and it became a very common report, especially at that time. Let's get into the next word. This is Mark. 1 and 25 and Yahweh shall rebuked him saying hold thy peace and come out of him and when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice he came out of him and they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority for with authority commandeth he even unclean spirits and they do obey him and immediately his fame spread abroad and what is it we know about fame it's a report it's your name it's a name it's a report attached to the name it's a rumor it's your renown it's a it's a uh, a, a commonly reported thing about you so his fame spread abroad and it happens like a blaze like a wildfire throughout all the region round about galilee and so you can imagine all of these people um, with this name of Yahweh Shah uh, in their mouth speaking on uh, this man, you know, who heals. And it said it went out all through Galilee. Now you have a depiction here that shows you upper and lower Galilee. Man, Galilee was huge, man. Galilee is a large region. region. Okay, a l very large region. So... You know, with his own sea and everything. So you can see the Lord's name really got out. It really got out. Here's another depiction of Galilee. The Lord's name was spreading from Megiddo all the way to Chorazin, right? Capernaum. The Lord's name spread throughout Galilee. That's fame. Remember, there was no, obviously, cell phones and way to report this. There was no news article it was just person to person to person commonly reporting about this man Yahweh Shah and what he did all right so let's get into it now um Romans 10 and 17 how how are they how are they getting um this report because we're speaking the report out to him now in modern day Yahweh Shah had fame right and in modern day, didn't he say that you will do much more greater works than I did? So eventually our bodies will be changed, right? Well, brothers will have spiritual power and they'll be able to do great oneness here on this earth, right? Um, great escapes, great deliverances, things like that. Calling upon the name of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Um, so, so that therefore will become uh, famous and rumored about. Because famous is basically to be rumored about, to be reported about, and for that report to be a common thing amongst all people. Um, Romans 10 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing, and the hearing by the word of Yahweh. So we're spreading this word, and our report is going out. Now we're reporting on Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. The Lord's fame is still going out throughout the earth by way of his prophets. Now this book. Uh, once it was public, public, publicized, it became spread again. It was another push for Yahweh Shah's name to be spread throughout the world. They knew him ignorantly as Jesus Christ. Now, his name again, Yahweh Shah, is being reported, and they're hearing about Yahweh Shah, and they're getting faith, faithful, uh, the same type of recognition and fame he had at once. He has again, and he has, and he's not even here. So we're making that report known of those that believe in the Messiah uh, can be redeemed and delivered and saved at his coming, at his second coming. His report is coming out right before his second coming. It's also reported that in his that that he will return. And so you can look forward to seeing Yahweh Shah again, this very man who had that report. 
that we read about in the scriptures. He had that fame. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of Yahweh, which the word of Yahweh reports on Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah is coming back to deliver and save. What the scriptures say here in Isaiah 52 and 10. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our power. So one thing about it, the nations will see the holy arm of the Lord and shall see the salvation of the people of the Lord, the Israelites. Where will we be saved from? All over the, all the ends of the earth. That's why these chariots descending upon America, descending upon Europe, descending upon all um, land masses will be coming from all directions, uh, beaming up the elect so that they can see the salvation of their power from all the ends of the earth. And the holy arm is the one that's good, the Lord's making bare to see it. Now, when you go into holy arm. That's dealing with Yahweh Shah, 1 Peter 3 and 22. Who is going into heaven and is on the right hand of Yahweh? Well, that right hand is a part of that right arm. And Yahweh Shah is the one that ascended into heaven to go on the right hand of Yahweh. It says angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. And we know that every knee shall bow and kneel at Yahweh Shah's name, at Yahweh Shah's presence, right? And so the Lord is going to allow and establish back Yahweh Shah. He is his right arm. Acts 5 and 31. Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and the savior. Yahweh Shah is the prince, right? Prince of peace and the savior, right? The Hamashiach, the Messiah. The savior is the one who saves Israel. So our, our um, prophecy revolving around our people is that a deliverer, a savior, a prince will come and be magnified on earth, but deliver his people out of war, out of pestilence, out of the plagues that's being sent to um, punish this this world. Yahweh Shai will be our ticket out of there. It says for to give repentance to Israel. Very specific of a people here. And see, Christianity has indoctrinated the masses of people for all these years and decided that everyone can be saved but we understand through process of elimination through scriptural breakdown through integrity of the scriptures and holding up into it and understanding the mind of Yahweh Shah that he ain't coming back to deliver every single person on this earth not even every person who says knows his name he's coming back to deliver his elect and those are the ones who he's given repentance to as it says here out of the nation of Israel Revelations the seventh chapter, 144,000 out of the nation, 12 tribes of Israel and the mass mixed multitude or a mass uh, that that links up with Ze uh, Zechariah 13 and 8, the elect one third, one part shall be brought through the fire. So the Lord is coming back to redeem one third of the people and it's going to be here in Babylon with where, where this will be the lake of fire. He's coming back to deliver us from a thermonuclear fire that's going to invoke this place, right? Or dissolve this place, America. It says, and forgiveness of sins. It's all going to go down in our lifetime. Again, the Lord has a right arm who is his son, Yahweh Shah, who is coming back to devastate the world. Acts 22 and 33, therefore being by his right hand of Yahweh exalted and having received of the Father, the promise of the Holy Spirit, he hath shed forth this, which he now see in here. You keep hearing about this right hand of Yahweh being exalted. Hebrews 1 and 13. But to which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. His angels on the right hand. To which of his angels uh, said he at any time, sit on my right hand. None of them save Yahweh Shah. That's the one. Sit on my right hand till I make thine enemies our footstool. Yahweh Shah is on the right hand. So going back into his fame, once again, his fame is 
uh, reported before he was alive, his fame before he came as uh, 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 the son of uh, Joseph. His fame was reported on. It was known that the Messiah would come. His fame was reported on. Right? He was that Passover. Uh, uh, he was the Passover angel. Death angel. His fame was reported on. Of this Messiah. Of this right hand power of Yahweh. Alright? So again. Um, our job is to promote this. This word. Again. King James Isaiah 52 and 10, the Lord hath made bare his holy arm, Yahweh Shah, in the eyes of all the nations. And the idea of making something bare, make bare your arm. Ellicott's commentary for English readers, the Lord hath made bare. The warrior preparing for action throws off his mantle, tucks up the sleeve of his tunic and leaves his outstretched arm free. If you go into any bar in America, let's let's say you don't do a bar, you go to anywhere, all right, you're talking to somebody, a perfect stranger, and you start rolling up your sleeves, that man is instantly going to think it's an issue, it's a problem, something wrong, it's, are you stressed out, what's going on, you okay? Because rolling up your sleeves is a universal sign, at least amongst men, that you about to get them throwing in my arms, and you don't want nothing to hold you back. Not even your own garments. And so the rolling up of the sleeves, in this case, is Yahweh about to exhibit his right arm. And an arm symbolizes uh, power. That's why you have here in the NLT, um, it'll say, The Lord hath has demonstrated his holy power, right? And her, her holy arm. Is what symbolizes Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh Shah is holy, he's perfect, right? He, he's holy in the sight of Yahweh, his father, by doing his will. And he's an arm symbolizes power, right? His holy power, holy arm. And so he's coming back very powerful, stealthy, right? As a, as a thief in the night, but still powerful. I mean, when these chariots show up, they're just going to show up in the brightness of his coming like a lightning bolt. Okay, they're going to just appear. Boom, 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 boom. Thousands of them, right? Tens of thousands of angels, right? So, last scripture, uh, Matthews 10 and 27 in the KJV, what I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. So, this report is being made by us, and we're making a report of Yahweh Shah. We're reminding the world of Yahweh Shah. We're reminding our people, the sheep, the flock of Israel, the lost tribes. All right, the lost house sheep of the house of Israel were reminding them of Yahweh Shai and his fame and how he was able to, to deliver us in so many and many more situations. And how in this period in time we live in now is going to be likened unto Egypt and the in the uh, desolation that came and the plagues that came into Egypt because Pharaoh's heart was hardened and so he wouldn't release us. The Lord had to continue to send plagues and he sent Yahweh Shai as that death angel that swept swept up the firstborn. Of every every man, uh, 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 child, uh, uh, firstborn of any beast, and he did that. Um, and save the ones who had blood on their doorpost. Were the Israelites getting ready to uh, be redeemed and delivered? So Yahweh Shah, his presence was known and felt as the right hand of, or the right arm or the uh, holy power of the Lord, and his holy presence is going to get felt again. That's why we are committed to uh, uh, speak in light, in the light. These words we can publicize. Why? Because the, the things that's made public usually have uh, uh, more of an effect, a lasting effect. There's a face behind that who made that public. That's why the script says, you know, for those that sigh and that cry for the abominations thereof, he'll place a mark of, rede of redemption on Right. We're looking for salvation and deliverance for the times to come. We know that they're coming. They're warned. They, we've been warned by prophets. Um, the Lord woke us up to do the same, very same thing, to prophesy, to speak publicly and to give the report in the about the talk about the fame of Yahweh Shah and how that's going to come back. It says, and what ye hear in the air that preach ye upon housetops and the preaching goes back to giving a report or teaching. Our job is to teach, preach, 
give this report of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and his uh, uh, deliverance that he's had already and the deliverance that is to come. I brought this out this video. It was out of fine. Till next time. Shalom.